everyone, and welcome to another episode of Art with Mr. Malik. I'm your host, Mr. Malik, um, and welcome back. So today we are going to be doing some um, abstract art creating, um, and what I mean by abstract is abstract is a form of art where you're creating artwork that's based off of emotions, expressions. It doesn't necessarily have a, a form. It doesn't necessarily look like anything in particular. It could just be a bunch of lines or a bunch of colors that creates a pattern that speaks to the viewer that makes it abstract. Um, so, so for some examples, here is what I've done to create and what we're going to do today. And I know what you're thinking. You're going to see you're saying, Mr. Malik, I could never do something like that. But I challenge you to open your mind and explore something new today. And I'm going to show you some very cool ways of creating this cool abstract art that you can hang up in your home or give away or add more art on top of it. It's totally up to you. So, you ready? Let's go. Come on now. Okay, so as always, we are going to go over our supply list. I have a bigger piece of paper today just for example purposes. I encourage you to start off small until you kind of get yourself used to what we're doing. I also have a ruler or a protractor ruler. You can use any ruler you have at home. You could also use a squeegee for this example and you'll see what I mean by that. Or something that has a hard edge. I prefer a plastic ruler because it's easier to clean the paint off of once you see what uh, the demonstration is. So something plastic, you can even use a, a, a book edge or a, 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 a hard stock paper, anything with a hard edge will, bas will basically work for today's example. So I have my paper, my ruler, I also have several different uh, colors of paint that I'm gonna be using to, um, to dabble and create the artwork. I also have plastic spoons in each color of paint to help me distribute the paint easier. So those are my supplies, my ruler, my paper, my, my paint, and then my plastic spoons of paint. I also have paper towel, and I also have a wet um, dish rag or, or a washcloth if you have that at home, which will help me clean up the paint that might spill a little easier. So that's what we have as supplies, and now we can get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of pick a color combination. So for you at home, I would start off with maybe three colors just to kind of get yourself, get your feet wet and get yourself comfortable with what we're doing first. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is decide on what color I'm gonna start with. For me, I'm gonna start with this reddish color. Fill up my spoon a little bit, making sure that it doesn't drip as much because I wanna control the drips. Wipe off the edge if I need to. And now I'm gonna come in and, and just leave a little bit of paint dots randomly. You don't want a lot of paint here. You really just want to dot randomly around. Sometimes you can even do little streaks if you want, but that's basically what I'm doing. The next color I'm going to add on top of that. And you see how sometimes the paint runs? That's okay. The, the fun part of abstract is that you don't have to be too specific with where you want the paint to be at. That's why it's abstract. So now I have some yellow splashes, right? I, st I still don't wanna put too much paint because I wanna make sure that I don't have an, a more than enough paint or too much paint because then it'll be um, more of a mess I have to clean up later, which is still okay. The next color I'm gonna add onto the mix is gonna be my purplish color here. Again, making sure I can control the drips, let that drip wherever it drips. Notice that some drips are gonna be bigger um, than others, and that's okay. And then some are gonna have streaky lines like this, and that's totally okay as well. So now that I have my little dots, you're saying to yourself, Mr. Malik, what the heck is this gonna be, and how are we gonna turn this into this, right? Well, this is where the ruler or the hard edge comes from. And also, if you don't like to get your hands messy, you might want to put on gloves just to keep your hands clean if you don't um, want to touch the paint. But you, you will experience some paint spillage a little bit here because this is the fun part of art making. So now what I'm going to do with my hard edge is I'm going to come to the top of my paper and I'm just going to put my, paper, my ruler here and squeegee it down. Lift it up. 
come to the other side, bring it down. And these things create all kinds of patterns and designs in there. Look at the colors. I can even come back in and go a different direction if I want, like that. I can maybe come across because I have some excess paint on the edge here. So what I can do is come across whatever you want to do just to create whatever patterns, just to play around. And then you'll see you'll come up with different patterns each time you do it. Afterward, then I can take my wet rag, clean off the edge here with the paint. And voila, as you can see, it clearly wipes off the paint. I'll use my paper towel to dry it. And now if I have another piece of paper, I can go right back in and continue um, another, another art piece. Or I can let this dry and keep adding colors to it. But so that's basically how you create this abstract art piece that I can now hang up wherever I want. And again, the fun part is really looking at all the details and all the, the, the patterning and the coloring that you can create because it kind of comes as a little bit of, of a surprise while you're afterwards because you don't really know what you're going to create. So that's the fun surprise that you can have. So this was a quick little session. I, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Check this out here. Again, some cool abstract art you can do at home. Um, the fun part about it is figuring out what your color combination is going to be so that way it kind of creates a cool, fun, abstract uh, color design for yourself at home. And the sky is the limits because there's so many color patterns that you can create. So I encourage you to experiment um, and feel free to leave comments in the comment section. I am more than happy to hear your comments and suggestions. Feel free also to post or to send me pictures of the artwork that you created from watching these series. And thank you for joining me. Um, so that's it for today. So thank you for joining me. And until next time, I'm your host, Mr. Malik. Stay tuned for the next exciting adventure. Thanks for stopping by, guys.